the control tower of Mexico City New International Airport shall be a groundbreaking milestone in the construction of airport facilities. The tower shall play a key role in airport operation. It shall be used for operational services, air navigation and weather forecast and observation, as well as for apron control and for the assignment of aircraft parking areas. It is strategically located in the center of the airport and covers a surface area of more than 23,000 square meters. It includes two buildings, the base support building and the tower itself, which is 90 meters tall. On a structural level, the foundations are formed by piles on a large foundation slab and a steel superstructure for the shaft and the top cabins. The building superstructure is made with a structural steel frame formed by a circular primary axis and 12 radial transfer frames supported on the seismic isolators, the shaft and the top cabins. The tower includes three different types of envelope metallic roof, ventilated cladding panels, and systems of glazed struts. The control room includes three overhanging levels of insulated laminated glass panels that are supported directly on the columns of the outer building. To comply with a stringent program of visual needs and requirements, The construction of the control tower starts with the driving in of the 480 friction piles that shall be connected to the base slab. Together, these two structures form the foundations of the tower. The earthworks have been divided into two excavation stages. Work will start on the central section. The excavation will be open towards the outside until level 3.5 meters is reached. The excavation shall be stabilized by means of 4 to 1 slopes covered with a geogrid and a layer of tizontal with a thickness of 50 centimeters. The process shall be repeated from the inside towards the outside of the center section until level minus 6.05 meters is reached and slopes will be similarly built and stabilized. Once the excavation of the center area is complete, the piles shall be cut back. A geogrid and a 50 cm thick layer of tizontal shall be put in place. A steel grid shall be installed and cast to complete the base. The waterproofing shall be applied and the foundation slab shall be installed and cast. The inner and perimeter walls of the foundation, the filling of structural elements and the top slab shall then be completed over the slab. The frames of the base of the tower, which shall support the shaft and the top cabins, shall be shop manufactured and transferred to the site on trucks. Once at the site, they shall be sequentially and individually erected by means of structural cranes. The shaft comprises 18 metallic sections that shall be erected at the site and placed in their final position by means of three tower cranes, in the same way as the top cabins and the service levels. This sequential erection shall contemplate the use of false work that guarantees stability and stiffness throughout the erection process. The erection of the control tower envelope shall be done in an organized way following a logical construction sequence. The concentric cladding shall be formed by metallic panels that shall be fastened to the main structure. Gradual drilling shall be applied to the top levels. The control tower is a unique and cutting-edge project that will push Mexico to a leading position since it will meet all the requirements to provide modern and safe transport to its citizens.
Building the gate from Mexico to the world. Mexico City New International Airport.